Before going into this, this is not to be considered as a video saying that you should get alternatives to G-Shock squares. Hopefully, as you can see on screen, I'm a massive fanboy for G-Shock squares. But it's nice to see what some alternative options are that are kind of in a related aesthetic. So I'm going to have a look at a few of these, both within the G-Shock range and outside the G-Shock range. Um, so just for today, we can put those G-Shock squares to one side. For my first watch, uh, as is nearly always the case, the Urban Gentry covered it first, and this is the G-Shock 2, as famously worn by Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Running Man, amongst other films. Uh, you can see in some of the old Argos catalogues uh, the advertisements for this watch. Um, mine is actually more of a recent uh, reissue of the same series, the 5500. Um, this one is a particular Tide series watch, so the GLX. Uh, series so it kind of comes in this interesting colorway strap with the uh, blue pusher buttons which I think are the kind of unique look to this watch versus the original squares um, so yeah it's a really nice one and if you want to just see it on wrist uh, briefly for my 6.25 inch wrist uh, looks good slight overhang on the strap but it's a pretty cool looking watch Next on my list is a watch that's widely available, but not so many folks buy it. You can buy it from Argos if you're here in the UK, and this is the GD350, launched in 2013. This watch included the vibration module from Casio. Only on a few limited uh, models is this one. Um, unfortunately, originally called the Vibrator before they realized uh, their error, renamed to Vibe Alarm. It comes in a relatively limited number of colorways. It's not been uh, so popular. The coolest ones uh, I've seen is the positive display version with that green accent up top. I really like the, the gold and black uh, one you can see on screen now. The only limited edition I've been able to see is this one you can see on screen now, which is a graffiti artist. Uh, so here is my GD350. Uh, again, you can see the pretty chunky strap. Uh, if you flip it over onto the back, you can see these wings, which make it a nice fit to your wrist if you've got slim wrists like mine. But of course, I wanted to show you the uh, so-called vibe uh, alarm, and you have this one button switch, takes you onto the vibe alarm, take a look. Tell me to screw up. I bet. The third watch that I'd like to talk to you about today is the DW5900, first released back in 1992, affectionately known as the Three Eyes watch. Someone recently described it as the paw print watch, which now I can't not see. Uh, it's also often referred to as the Walter watch, as it was worn by the character Walter in The Big Lebowski. Shout out to the Watch Geek channel for a great review on the specifics of this watch. Uh, so up on screen now, you can see some of the original versions of this back from 1992. Pretty interesting looking colorways. Uh, more recently, we've got the kind of Joker colored variant that we've seen across a few of the D different uh, G-Shock watches, uh, as well as some with interesting textured patterns that you can see up on the screen now. And here is my own uh, DW5900, just purchased yesterday at the G-Shock store. That's fantastically reopened in London. This comes with the bull bars and the red backlight that you'll see in a minute. Uh, this is a, a limited edition uh, from a fashion brand uh, called North Hollywood or Hollywood. Um, there you can see the red backlight. Here it is on my wrist. Again, I've got a very slim wrist, so it looks rather big, but I like it. Watch number four is staying in the Casio family, but outside of the comfort of G-Shock. And that is what is affectionately known as the Casio Royale. As you can see on screen, misnamed because this was originally Roger Moore's Seiko, which looked a bit similar back in the day. Thanks, one more watch for that um, piece of information. Um, so as you can see on screen, this particular model comes in a few different uh, color varieties of just resin and metal insanely good value and um, so really recommend getting your hands on one of these now here is my one a little bit mad i actually had this one hand painted um, from lucky stripes pinstriping over in the us shout out um, to him for this awesome job you can see on the back uh, it's got the ae 12000 and then on the front this fantastic display you can see the really nice uh, backlight much better than the f91w and here it is on wrist. As you can see, still a bit of a chunker, but really nice. 
Now my fifth and final watch, which uh, could be considered an alternative to a G-Shock Square, is the Timex uh, Command Series. Now I have done another video on this. Few dislikes, because I think some people were suggesting that this was as robust as a G-Shock. Obviously it's not, but it's a, a relatively comprehensive range of different types of watch. You can see a few on screen. In particular, the obvious G-Shock references can be seen on, on this one, which is the, the main command watch, as well as this one. Uh, but the one that got me hooked in was the Command Urban series. Now, I actually saw this on a, a Twitter post, originally from the Timex uh, channel. It really hooked me in with the colouring. And of course, I had to go for the most garish one in bright yellow slash maybe green. Uh, and again, really cool with the kind of double holes and the, the claw that goes into them. I've always had problems with the keeper on this one, but the display in case back very nice. As always with Timex, the Indiglow is fantastic and you can see it here on wrist. Bit of a chunkster, but really nice display. Love this watch. So that's my full uh, list of five alternatives to consider to the traditional G-Shock Square. Of course, I know I've missed lots out. Obviously, the King Square is in there, the Gundam series, and that's just within G-Shock. I know there's things elsewhere too. So if you can think of any, please do put them in the comments. I'd be really uh, happy to, to see those. And please do consider subscribing. And you can follow me on Instagram at Watch Reactions. Hope you have a great rest of your day.